Ladies and gentlemen, today me and Jay Giggs have a stroke of brilliance, okay? I mean, I, would you call it a brilliant idea? I would probably say it's a brilliant idea, for sure. I think pretty much every idea we have is pretty brilliant. 100%, but we've solved the issue. Everyone knows that there's been some gigantic drama. Don't worry, the gigantic drama is now in fact solved, 100%. We figured it out. So this is the issue. <laughs> Everyone was mad because we have Cleopateryx or Cleoratrix or whatever the name you want to call it. People are telling me I'm pronouncing it wrong. Where, how do you pronounce this girl? I just, I've always called her Cleo. Cleopteryx? Cleopteryx? I don't know. Cle I, I'm going to go with Cleopatrix. It's the only thing I got because Patrick sounds better. But here's the deal, okay? We're all mad about the chicken and the sacred char being gone. But you know where we could put this? Because in their own thing, they said that they want to make sure players who are still getting acquainted to raid, right? Right. So getting to know, the, getting a feel for the game about three hundred and ninety days in. Exactly. So here's my point: um, if you're getting a feel for the game, it probably has to do with how much you've actually played the game. And there's a way you can actually tell how much you've played the game by looking not the daily login rewards. But who would have guessed the progression rewards? Because when you do anything in this game, you get experience. Here's our argument today. And I, uh, this is uh, half the brain of me, half the brain of Jay Giggs here. Because he was, I did steal a little bit of his idea because he was <laughs> live streaming. He, uh, he was saying, you know what, man? Level 100 rewards suck. And it made me think they do suck. What would you think if they put some actual good heroes, epics, legendary, etc., instead of one rare book? Would you rather have Cleo Patrick's instead of one rare book? I think that'd be better than, than frags peppered across the bullshit login calendar for months. Would you make the argument that somebody at level 50 is more getting acquainted to raid than somebody who has played for 390 days? For sure. All right. So I And like that's that's something to look forward to specific. Like level 50. I don't know. I almost feel like there should be progression champs instead of login reward champs. Progression champs is cool. We'll work your way to level 50 and get a champ that's going to change your account a little bit. Arbiter is one of the best feelings when you achieve. You earned yeah. it. And you can do it free to play. Might take a while. It takes a long time. It's a grind. But it feels fair. And it feels like a reward. Yeah. I, level 50 rare book. I was <laughs> disappointed before we even thought up this idea. I was disappointed because I looked at the progression rewards thinking I was going to get a void shard or a sacred or something that I would make content on for the day, right? But instead, here we are with a rare book. I would argue one, one, one rare, just spit in my mouth and tell me I like it. You know, it's so that's that's my point here today. The other rewards, you know, they get up there. I mean, look, we have 500 gems, all of that level 100. It's a sacred shard. It's OK on its way up to 100. Like. I guess. I mean, we're talking weeks in between each one of these, but level 100, you got to come up off that a little bit. That's that's not enough. Dude. I'll make you. Well, I'll so make you few a deal. people are going to hit 100. Well, here's the trade. Here's the trade I'll offer Plarium, okay? And tell me if you think this is a fair trade. You can take the level 100 sacred shard and put in Cleopatrix at level 100, okay? They say new content coming to the game is going to require hex, okay? which means I think newer players coming to the game will probably be able to access, especially if they're spending money, they're gonna be able to access their newer content sooner than 390 days. So if anything, if they take Cleo out of the circle of shards, put her at 390 days, you're actually time gating people out of your own content and it's bad for the player. How about instead, you can take our level 100 sacred shard because it's a one-time sacred, give us back the monthly sacred shard that we believe we're earned, and put Cleopatrix as a reward for hitting level 100. This will encourage longevity of your gameplay and will also encourage people to continue logging in for the daily login rewards, even if they don't like the hero that's offered by your login rewards. I think this is better for you, and I think it's better for us. What would you say? I agree. I agree. I think that's a really good move. And maybe... Maybe when she's much more viable, maybe when this new content comes out and she's amazing, it's more incentive for people to spend and get to 100 quicker so they can get her and make that content easier. Seems like a win-win for everybody. I would Clarium think isn't so. really all about the win-wins. So. And on top of that, let's look on the PR side of things. You made in one of your videos prior, which by the way, subscribe to Jay Giggs. His channel is still popping off very well. Congratulations, by the way, to my I man. Well learned, I gotta say, because, well, you've been in the community, uh, I would, I mean, as long as me is not longer. 
uh, you know, it was cold brew. It was me, you, cold brew, Stu, Brad, and uh, and Kizzo, really back in the day. And the guy by the name of Mingo Seven, you know, there's more an anime games, but that was that was a while back. But besides the point, okay, is he mentioned you mentioned in one of your videos about this as well. Um, I forgot the original point I was making though. I got completely off topic um, here because I got distracted. About uh, yeah, I did too actually. About um, we said player doesn't like the win wins. That, oh, PR. I've got it. Yeah, because you mentioned one of your videos before. This is a great opportunity for them to do a 900 IQ play and bring back their rewards, literally giving us nothing, just what we already had, and then get yeah. showered with praise. That was the. But they listen. Yeah, they listen to us, and it takes all the all the pressure off of them for at least a week. Exactly. It'll be good. It'll be good for a week. Take the win. Here's my argument. Take, take the, the win. win. Take the put, easy win. Take the, the win easy you win. set up for yourself. Yeah, do just it. Just take it. Just do it. Just you've take earned it. <laughs> yeah, take you've it. earned it. Now claim it. Claim it, Plarium. <laughs> and we'll all all the YouTubers will applaud you for it. The one that level my hundred white might be a little out of reach. Maybe drop it down to like eighty instead of his book or something. Okay, I don't know. But um, what I'm saying is, if you are going to require hex content, I, I as somebody who is not level one hundred on my main account and who is playing as a free to play, would feel encouraged to know that when I hit hit it. I get this. And then it would also I get a legendary. Exactly. You can see it visually. It's there. Not these stupid fragments, a legendary. Yep. The hero. And then these legendary books you get on the way to the legendary start to make sense now, don't they? Because there's a legendary you're going to acquire. The same way that you can see Arbiter at the end of the line. You can yeah. see the rosin sitting there for when you get the heroes in the same way. And and Or if you're determined to have her be frags. Pepper frags through the progression rewards. Mm. And when you hit 100, you get enough to get her. If, that, if you want that visual instead because you like the frags, I like that. then do that. They have get it rid of some of these stupid rare books. They have them at every five levels. You could add it in on like 82, 84, 86, 88, 100, whatever. You could just have it be two fragments each time or something. You know, all the way yep. up. It's level 100 or one frag a level. How about you just get a fragment every level? Anything. I mean, you, you have go. this completely un, untouched, unused unadjusted piece basically since launch that I think Maya has a little bit better of a benefit. So that's basically it. This was our point. Um, just kind of thought this might hopefully be a solution that Plarium might actually listen to because I think it's fair. You know, we're saying- It's it's a good idea. It really is. Like not to toot our own horn, but it's a good idea. It's a good it's a, idea. It's a, it fixes all the problems associated with this login calendar thing. And it's something I think that, you know, normally we do the rant, the rave, and then we say this is what, sh you know, we think and all that. But most of the times what we think it should be is just basically a bunch of free resources. This is a trade. You can take a sacred, give us back what we already had. That's our point. Let us know if you agree. We'll put it back to the community. Let us know what the community thinks about this idea. It's the best open leather we got. Don't forget to subscribe to J Gigs. Any last words on the way out? Subscribe to Darth too. Oh, hey. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> check out the Marvel channel because the Marvel channel sadly is Dude. now five times bigger than my main channel. So It's crazy. You got to go check it out. Videos are killer too. I was, I was just telling him videos over there are really good. I so guess go I guess this is my life now. I'm now a Marvel guy. So. <laughs> It's my reward for putting this Marvel icon on the... People think there this is go. a GDI icon from Command & Conquer, but it's Marvel Strike Force, weirdly enough. All yeah. right. All right, bye-bye, everybody. Take the idea, player. Take the dub. You, just, you earned it, now claim it. Take it.